This episode of Film Linen is brought to you by our Patreon page and all the members of our Wall of Awesome. Extra strong, eh? We'll see about that. Damn. These are really strong. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And let's just get it out of the way. Yes, I have a tan. My wife is a beauty therapist and she just bought a new spray tanning machine. So, guinea pig number one. I don't see a white boy. I see a damn fool. <laughs> so feel free to go absolutely nuts in the comments. You can call me a roast chicken. You can say I look like a dry roasted peanut. Just go nuts. I don't care. Bring it on. Now that we have that out of the way, there's been a whole bunch of requests for Killer Frost effects ever since, you know, Killer Frost came about. And I have taken on one so far, which was the Killer Frost voice effect. And I thought we'd tackle this in a few parts. So today we're going to be doing the Killer Frost eyes effect. And guess what? Today we're actually going a bit old school. We're not using any download packs. We're not using any third party plugins, just pure After Effects. My God. I know, right? So in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot yourself or your actor just pretending to have killer frost eyes. That's really just it. Now just a quick tip, make sure you actually light your eyes well and you don't have a bunch of shadows because we're actually using those eyes to create the effect. So if you can actually light this eye area well so you can see both the pupil and the iris, that'd be great. And you know what? That's it. All we need is that footage and After Effects. So let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, and as always, I have my comp set up in a shot and ready to go. As you can see, it's just my stupid head staring at the screen in my usual creepy manner. Did I say creepy? Hi man, tell not creepy. So the idea here is to use your iris as a base to layer effects on. So naturally, we want to track that. Now our first step in this process is to track the pupil, because that damn thing is sitting in the center of our eye, and we want to leave it alone. So of course, we need to isolate it. In order to do that, let's start by duplicating our footage like so, just hit Control D, and then let's hit Enter and rename this layer Pupil. Next, let's grab the pen tool, zoom in, and draw a nice mask around that pupil like so. From there, we're going to right click and hit Track Mask. Let's then hit the play button, and our track is done. I'm then gonna hit F and feather this thing out around a few pixels just to soften the edge a little. We can then adjust this a little later. Now gang, if you don't have After Effects CC, this track mask option, it just won't be there. So I'll refer you to the card above where I have an older episode on changing eye color. Just follow those instructions and then rejoin this tutorial once you're done isolating the iris and the pupils. Okay, next up, let's isolate the iris. To do that, it's pretty similar, gang. Duplicate that bottom layer, rename it iris, we'll zoom in, grab the pen tool, and we'll draw a mask around said iris. Let's then right click and track the mask again. Done. Okay, we now have the pupil and the iris isolated on one eye. Let's jump cut to me having both done with a wacky sound effect. Wow, that was pretty wacky. Okay, so we have our iris isolated here. Let's start by adding some effects to make these killer frost eyes. So for starters, we want to head to effect, color correction, and grab brightness and contrast. From there, we want to crank up the brightness and the contrast. I've busted the brightness all the way up to 150, and I've bumped the contrast up over 80. But one thing you might notice if you look at the eye is, I haven't lost any detail in the iris. Now guys, please play with these settings. If you increase the brightness and it blows out the detail in your eye, lower it so you achieve a similar result to what I have on screen right now. And if you have blue or lighter eyes than me, well, play even more. The end result is you want to increase the brightness in that eye while still maintaining that detail. Next up, we want to rid our eye of that color totally. So let's head back to color correction and grab tint. Done. Now just looking at the difference between the eyes now is pretty dramatic. Next up, Caitlin's eyes tend to 
glisten or you can see some sort of animation happening inside of them while she's got her Killer Frost transformation eyes. So to do that, let's head to Effect, Distort and add Turbulent Displace and wow, right off the bat you can see that looks ridiculous. Now let's start by busting the amount down to say 14 and the size to like 8. That's better. Now once again gang, this is based on my shot. You may need to either lower these values or crank them up based on your shot. Now let's finish that off by hitting the stopwatch on evolution, heading to the end of the comp and cranking this up to around 3. We now have some creepy fluid movement happening in that iris while I'm talking. Next up, I'd like to add a little bit more pop to the eye. So I'm going to add one more brightness and contrast, only this time I'll up the brightness to say 14 and the contrast to around 50. This really brightens up those bright spots, but we still maintain our detail. Once again guys, have a play with these settings and find your sweet spot. Now lastly, we need a little blue, right? To do that, let's hit do effect, color correction and grab our good old buddy, our guy, our friend, photo filter. From the drop down menu, let's grab cooling filter, LBB, and for me gang, I'm going to just set this around 20%. That gives us a slight blue without overpowering the iris itself. We still maintain our muted color. Now before we jump over to the other eye, let's just adjust this mask so that it blends a little bit better with our eye. So firstly, we're going to hit MM and bring down all those mask settings. We'll then maybe adjust the mask feather to around 8 pixels. And then I'm just going to drop that mask expansion down to say minus 1. That looks much better. Okay, so now all we have to do is hit Control A to grab all of those effects, hit copy, and then we'll select our left iris and hit paste. Now I might up the brightness just a little bit on that left eye, just so it matches up with our right. That's better. Let's now finish this one off by adjusting that mask expansion and adjusting the feather. Done. Now in order to turn on the power, well, that's actually pretty easy. We're going to hit MM to bring up our mask menu, head down to mask expansion, drop it down to a point where our modified iris is no longer on screen, like so. And then let's hit the stopwatch on mask expansion. We'll then find the point where you want it to kick in Add a keyframe right here, and then we'll move forward anywhere from five to nine frames, depending on how fast you want this to go on. And then we'll crank it up to say either minus two or minus three. Okay. And then we'll quickly replicate that on the other eye. Done. And then, if we check out a preview, we have ourselves a Killer Frost eye effect, baby. And that, my friends, is our Killer Frost eye effect done. Now, gang, for the cold breath that I showed at the beginning in the short, that actually comes courtesy of our 100 Film Linen Short Film Comp sponsor and great friends of mine, Action VFX, and their awesome Cold Breath Pack, which is part of their recently launched weather effects. You can find them at actionvfx.com. Using that asset was super easy, guys. It was just drag and drop, position it into place, and I was done. These are available in both 4K and 2K as well, gang. Be sure and check them out at actionvfx.com. And hey, if you use the code FILMLINEN at checkout, you get 10% off your purchase. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Extra strong, eh? We'll see about that. Damn, these are really strong. So guys, that's my take on a no frills Killer Frost eyes effect. Now guys, we will be taking on some more Killer Frost effects coming up in the future, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, oh, stick a fork in me, Jerry. I'm done. I also wanted to let you know that the Film Linen 100K short film competition is now open for entries, so be sure to head to filmlinen.com and grab your entry pack today. But in the meantime, that's all I got for you. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button, I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single Film Linen episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I have my Patreon there. I've also got my social media crap above my head that you can follow me on for all the behind the scenes and all that sort of whatnots. But until I see you again, 
Keep tanning and keep learning. <laughs>